how to make and scale your real estate wholesaling business to over a million dollars per year. What's up guys, Zach in here. Rick in here. And we are seven figure entrepreneurs, wholesalers. We've gone through the trials and tribulations of wholesaling real estate, the blood, sweat, and tears of scaling up a business. And we're here to teach you exactly how to make a million dollars per year in your real estate wholesaling business. And the thing is, there's this entire 50 step multitude framework to get it going. But the truth is, we're gonna give you the honest fundamentals of scaling up a business the easy way. So you can understand what we say and start implementing that to make a seven figure operation for wholesaling real estate and make over a million dollars. So many people love to talk about scaling a huge wholesaling operation. I'm here to tell you after doing this 20 years, a lot of it's a myth because it requires a tremendous amount of work to keep it going. Meetings, offices, overhead. And remember, if you got three or four partners, you got to split that money. If you truly want to make the most amount of money as wholesaling and have as much free time as possible, your best method is the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid, because I'm telling you, this business is not complicated. We as wholesalers complicate the heck out of it. Let's get it going. But before we get into it, guys, do us a favor, smash that like button and subscribe to the most free value from us. And there's a really cool quote I love from Steve Jobs. He basically says, simplicity scales and complexity fails. And if Steve Jobs can say that, rest in peace to him, but he ran one of the largest tech companies in the entire world. And you kind of look at Apple right now, they keep it very simple, right? Like they have multiple products, but like they don't have all these crazy tech gadget gizmos. They keep it very simple. Take that quote and run with it for wholesaling. That's what we did and it helped us out so much. You guys, the more steps you put in your wholesaling business, it complicates it and you have to duplicate it over and over. So if you have a million steps to getting to a million dollars, it's gonna be hard for you and your team to achieve it. Simplify your operations and perfect them. Instead of having a thousand different things to do that you do okay, narrow it down to four or five things and make you and your staff excellent at it. The actionable steps you can take right now. I'm going to tell you the four frameworks you have to understand for scaling a million dollar per year wholesaling business that we have done. And really it's a simple acronym that no other wholesale has really talked about. And we're ready to talk about it. ACID. ACID is basically the acronym you got to know. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's kind of unconventional, but it simply stands for action, consistency, integrity, and delegation. So let's kind of break them down and let's kind of break down the steps that kind of make more sense. I, that's the only way we could really use those four keywords to make it into an acronym that actually works. But the first thing here is delegation. I'm telling you right now, when it comes to scaling a million dollar per year real estate business, there's multiple ways you can do it, right? And there's the cool, slick, sexy, I'm trying to get 50 people in an office and create this crazy overhead. And the truth is, not a lot of people understand this. Once you get like a $5,000 a month lease, you have to produce money on it. When you give people base salaries, like if you you go out here and get employees and your overhead for a year is $400,000 for just base salaries with people, that employee has to bring that value, if not more, for it to even make sense. Kind of like what we say with having partners, right? If you have a partner, that partner has to bring in over double the value than it would have been if they weren't in it. And the thing is, delegation is really important because you can run a one-man operation for wholesaling real estate all day. That's fine. It's very hard to scale to a million dollars per year by doing it solo. And you could, you know, work 90 hours, 100 hours a week. And a lot of people get really confused in this business. They think they have to do a thousand deals per year and that's the way they can become successful in this business. And the truth is it does not work like that. Simply, if you can just do like nine to 10 deals a year and each deal is a hundred thousand dollars, you'll be good. Or 20 deals at $50,000 each. Wholesaling real estate has become very glorified lately of how many deals you can do and not the profit, which is completely to the contrary of what you care about as an entrepreneur, right? It's the bottom line profit. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. There's people in our markets. I'm telling you, right now they do more deals than them. and it seems sexy right oh i did 20 deals this month i'm like what's your average deal it's like three thousand dollars and then we'll just go say hey we did like four or five and our average deals like 60,000 and it doesn't look sexier on paper, but I don't really care. It's how much profit you make. So guys, understanding that quality over quantity rules, if you can get the perfect world where you get both, but you're going to have to give up something to do it. And when we talk about delegation, it's the more simple you can give the directions. So if someone's in charge of dispositions in your company, give them an operation plan. Hopefully you've implemented, you've done it before and you're constantly correcting it and then give them the leeway to make mistakes. The one of the biggest problems you delegation 
organization is you micromanage them. So I used to do it with him in the beginning. You got to like, let them go out, do their deals, make some mistakes. Sometimes it's not going to work out, but that's how they learn and go forward. I used to do that with our employees. Yeah, correct. So if you constantly try to do it for your employee, they never feel empowered enough to do it and you never really solve the problem. So the key with delegation, if give someone the job, let them own it, but you have to provide the tools. And yeah. guys, this includes VAs. VAs are only going to do what you tell them to do. So an important part of delegation is give them the job and the task and give them the support, meaning the operations and answer questions when you need it. Instead of you micromanaging every little thing they do, they're going to make your company much more profitable or they're not going to figure out yeah. and you're going to have to get a replacement. That's what I've seen. So when it comes to delegation, there's three parts in wholesaling real estate. I can argue with anyone, but really you can break it down into the simplest form it is, is marketing, acquisitions, and dispositions. That's it. So when you think about the three things, that's what we have to delegate, right? So the first thing when it comes to delegation, again, we're scaling to a million. We're not going from zero to a million, right? We got to do the marketing first. And that's going to be the most time intensive. And that's the least valuable of your time. If you're doing it solo, your most valuable is going to be your acquisitions. Second's dispo. And the last is marketing. We recommend using like a VA for doing your SMS text blasting, your cold calling. You can technically still do the direct mail by yourself, but really delegating that SMS text blasting and the cold calling is going to help you out starting out. I recommend you still need to do the list pulling yourself. That is a valuable activity that might take an hour to a week, but that's something I just don't think a VA should be doing. You should always be like running your list because if you get the list wrong, whatever you do after it, it doesn't matter. If you are not fishing in the right pond, meaning there's no fish to catch there, there's no amount of bait, marketing material, acquisitions, people dispo that can help you out with that. Yeah. So guys, get on your list, become a list expert. We have plenty of videos to teach you how to do that in freewholesaling.com. Check it out. But guys, you always have to be in control of your list because that is the life blood of your operation. Yeah. And just FYI, kind of like you said, if you want to learn exactly our systems for delegating, we have the entire systems for delegating your business with VAs, how to hire VAs, how to do it. Guys, we don't have five hours today, but there's hours and hours and hours of content on actually scaling to 100K a month at freewholesaling.com. Everyone thinks it's just like a cheap little beginner's course. No, it is a $10,000 master mentorship of wholesaling real estate, not just for beginners, but every aspect. We even have our creative finance stuff in there, but really freewholesaling.com has our scaled systems, who to hire, when to hire, how much to pay these people. It's all at freewholesaling.com. I'm always excited to share that. So check that out if you want to learn the nitty gritty stuff on that. And then basically you have delegation, finding acquisitions manager. That's always the hard one. I always do the three, three, three approach. You close in front of that person three times, that new acquisitions manager, you talk with them and you both close together for three deals. And then lastly, you have the acquisitions manager, close three deals in front of you. And that's how you train them. That's also at freewholesaling.com. For dispositions, for finding cash buyers, I really like realtors and they usually make the best dispositions mm -hmm. agents. But honestly, that's what you should be doing for your delegation. The next thing here is action. Cannot stress this enough. You have to take action in your business if you want to scale to a million dollars per year. The coolest thing about scaling to a million dollars per year, you don't have to do this crazy hustle, Gary V type thing, you know. Again, the hardest thing in wholesaling real estate is going from zero to $100,000 per year. $100,000 to a million, way easier, right? By far, by far. Listen, when you're getting starting out, going from zero to like 100, and the idea is you have to take consistent action. Like, like we say action. Because if you don't take the actions, you'll never get the traction to get going where you need to go. So many people want to go from like, I have no deals to, you know, I want to make a million dollars. Well, listen, just take your first deal down, then your second, then your third. And you learn like, it's incredible. With each deal you do, you progressively learn. And it's like, it's like tenfold. And by the time you do your third or fourth deal, you got so many ideas how to get to a million dollars because you probably just took down your first hundred thousand. You only have to 10 times that to get to a million dollars. But guys, just take one deal at a time and keep going. And then once you get to like three, four, five, then you can figure out some systems that work for you. Remember, keep it simple as possible. If too many people have to touch your customers, it gets very, very complicated. I will tell you this, a million dollars, you're going to have to take a lot of action, a lot of massive action. It won't just roll into your leads pile, especially if you're just starting out. So I can't stress this enough. It's you. It's not your sellers. It's not your hard money people. It's not your contractors. You have to take a ton of massive action to attack this goal. And that's the thing. It's not like that hustle action. It's taking the action out there to hire the people, get the systems in place. It's a different type of action, but it's still an important part. The next part here is consistency. Even when you're starting as a beginner to even when you're running a great business, it's consistency. The thing is the cool part about having an 
and acquisitions managers, you don't have to go in the appointments. But the thing is, if you're not on your acquisitions person's butt of them being consistent, mm -hmm. you know that you have to get consistent. So you make yourself consistent with your follow-up. If you let that acquisitions person lack a little, your business is doomed. Now, you don't have to be the one who's consistently following up, but you got to make sure your acquisitions manager, your dispositions people are doing it. Your marketing people are constantly doing the cold calling. This is the part of consistency that not a lot of people understand. You got to hold your employees accountable. Don't be this crazy, angry boss, but I'm telling you, encouraging them and having your goals is going to help you so much. Uh, the book Traction from Gino Wickham is a really great book. It's something that we love all the time. Um, it's definitely a really good read. Uh, it's like 14, 15 bucks. It really helped us operate our business, especially when scaling. And lastly, and probably the most important part, you're not going to be able to scale your wholesaling business if you don't have integrity. Being this cute little wholesaler that goes out here, lies to everyone, lies to your cash buyers, constantly doing the dirty, shady stuff in wholesaling to make an extra buck. I'm telling you right now, that works if you're making 80, 90K a year, right? But at the end of the day, when you want to scale your business, you're going to get terrible employees doing this. Your cash buyers are not going to be consistent. The thing about running a big operation is you're gonna have to have cash buyers that just eat up deals all the time right and you're not gonna have a lot of churn on these deals if you're not a man or woman of your word and you don't have integrity in this business be a person of your word i'm telling you right now once your word is broken especially with these cash buyers and in your market it's really hard to get that back and i have not found one person who can scale their operations really well without having integrity yeah i mean integrity is everything so i've been doing this 20 years plus i have people when they go oh we're doing business with uh, rick and his company it's like they love doing it on the opposite side we have other wholesalers we work with and unfortunately the list we don't work with is much longer than the one we work with because we don't get the truth the numbers are way off and there's always a big fat surprise from the seller because they weren't truthful up front once you get that reputation in the business number one it's hard to do deals nobody wants to do deals with you and third the worst part is you create a culture within your own company everyone kind of knows how you do it so if you're shady you're going to yeah. turn your employees being shady and you're only going to invite disappointment, failed deals, and most likely painful lawsuits. It happens all the time. So be a person of your word. I'm telling you, it's going to help you out so much. The truth is when you come to scaling your business, another thing you should also look into is just getting more out of your deal. And what do I mean by this? What I mean by this is you could effectively double your business without doing anything. I know a lot of people are making four or five, six hundred thousand dollars a year trying to scale to a million mm -hmm. and they think they have to get more deals. And the truth is just got to get more out of each deal, right? And the thing is, if you get better cash buyers, like a better quality cash buyers, a lot of wholesalers out here, they just get a contract and they'll just give it to the first first cash buyer that yeah. takes their deal and they're wasting so much money. Get better quality cash buyers, bring more cash buyers through, bid it up a little more. You're going to get more profit on there. Start pulling more niched out lists. I'm telling you, just mail out probates. I'm we give a free probate mailer at freewholesaling.com. If you just mail that out, you can get an extra 50, 60, $70,000 deals right there. It is killer. And if you got some cash and you're making five, six, seven, eight hundred, and you're really trying to scale it up, consider wholetailing and cherry picking the really good deals. I'm telling you, that's what we do sometimes. Like if we have a deal that's going to be 70, 80 K for wholesaling, especially with this crazy market we got going on. Mm -hmm. And if the roof's kind of nicer, we'll just buy it ourselves, put four or five K into it. I know this is a wholesaling video, but like for, as a general real estate investor, we're netting like a hundred thousand, 120, 115,000. I'm, I'm telling you right now, like you can turn those $80,000 deals into like $110,000 deals. And that's net profit. Like it's like 140, 130, but the realtors fees, everything. It's insane. Yeah. So guys, remember at the end of the day is, you know, we all want to make a ton of money, but like I didn't get into wholesaling to sit behind a desk 40, 50, 60 hours a week yeah. and babysit employees and do all that stuff. I want to have the freedom to do whatever I want. I believe all wholesaling should be virtual because if you can train a team to work virtually, they can, you can attract employees from all over the world, not just in your like little city. Amazing things can happen. They'll stay longer. They usually make more money. And let's, let's face it. Very few customers are ever going to come in your office. Guys, I've had a lot of offices. It's literally literally a waste of money. I'd rather you spend that money on marketing. I'd rather you have the freedom because in the end, you're going to make a ton of money. But how much time do you have to do what you want? And that's the key to being a happy wholesaler, in my opinion. That's it, guys. So go out here, take the action, keep the consistency going. You got this. If you've already gone from zero to 100,000, going from 100,000 to a million is so much easier. Like much easier. You, you've already done the hard part. If this is a 10 mile race, you were literally already ran seven miles. You just got to go the extra three and then you can get get this. Go to freewholesaling.com, learn our scaling systems. It works. It's what we use. And that's what we teach you guys. If you got any value of this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you guys soon. This is Zach in signing out. Rick in signing out. Have a blessed one guys. See you soon. See ya.